everybody, it's just in time, Chip, baby, and we're back. You know what time of the year it is. It's Thanksgiving, and what we're going to do today is we're going to do a classic. Now, a lot of us got to do it at home by ourselves, but guess what? We're going to make it easy. One of those things that one of your family members brought through that you just couldn't wait to have. Well, guess what? We're doing it this morning here, all right? We're doing green bean casserole. Now here's the difference. We're gonna do it JIT style, of course. And I'm gonna let you know right now, no canned anything here, all right? We're using fresh green beans that we just bought at the local market. And what we're gonna do, we've got boiling water going right now. And the first thing we're gonna do with these is we're gonna blanch them, bring out that beautiful color for about three to five minutes, and then we'll move on. So let's go ahead and get them in our water. Okay, and you'll watch how that beautiful green starts to come out. And then immediately after they start to blanch, we're gonna get them in our hotel pan full of ice cold, cold water, because we wanna shock them. We wanna stop them from cooking, okay? So that's step number one. It's been about five minutes and oh, our beautiful green beans. Now you can look, they had the dull green earlier, but now you can see that beautiful green right there. We're gonna drop them right in our ice bath real quick, our cold water there, and we're gonna stop them because they're still gonna go in the oven and cook, but a lot of people don't like green bean casserole because of the texture of the green bean. The JIT way, we're gonna have a little bit of bite, al dente, if you're familiar with that word, and we're gonna make sure this is a wonderful dish. Look at those beautiful green beans. Let's get them out of the boiling water, and then we're gonna move on. So now we got our green beans done, at least blanched, ready to be put together. We gotta make a sauce, but first, everybody loves the little crunch on top. Now we're gonna make our own fried onions, and the only thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it with a little bit of pepper here, and of course a little bit of salt, okay? We've got one medium onion, and that was two pounds of green beans that we did earlier, and we're gonna sprinkle just a little bit of flour to add a little bit of crispy, okay? And our oil is at about 300 degrees, okay? So that's ready to go. And one way to test it, let's get our onions mixed in with that flour, all right? Now we're not just gonna throw them all in there, all right? We're gonna get the flour mixed around, okay? And we're gonna take one of them and drop them in. And we're gonna wait just for a few seconds and once it starts to rise, we're gonna start adding all of the remaining onions in there. Oh, it looks ready. And we're gonna fry those till they're golden brown with a nice crisp on the outside. And then we'll move on to our next step. Oh, these onions smell wonderful. And as you can see, our beautiful crispy onions are done. We're gonna go ahead and get those out of the oil and let those rest as well. Oh, they look wonderful. Nice and crispy. So now we've got our crispy onions done. We blanched off our green beans, but now it's time to make our sauce JIT style, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is there's only one thing better than the star of our show, our liquid gold, and that's bacon. So we're gonna go ahead and add some bacon in the pan. So we ended up doing about four strips, okay? So we're gonna get that cooked off. Oh, the beautiful smell of hickory bacon. We went, to, well, we went, we didn't go with hickory, we went with the applewood bacon this time, all right? So we're gonna get that cooked up to a crisp, and then we're gonna get it out, and then we're gonna add all of our other ingredients, okay? Oh, this bacon fat is just, you know, for those that don't like bacon, sorry, I'm not one of those, all right? I can eat bacon all day, all right? So, we're gonna get this bacon cooked to a crisp, okay? And one of the things I'm doing is I'm kinda agitating it around because I don't want it to stick, okay? So that's something else I wanna make sure. And I want it crispy, 
but I want that flavor. So all that bacon fat, we're gonna use that once we get going with the other ingredients, all right? So we're gonna get our bacon in here, and immediately following our bacon, we're gonna jump in with our mushrooms, all right? Because we gotta get our mushrooms cooked down as well, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and get our bacon going. A lot of traditional green bean casseroles may not have bacon, and they may have cheese. So you got a couple of options there. We're going with bacon, all right? You could add cheese, you could not add cheese. It's totally up to you, but today, we're just gonna make a cream sauce, okay? So we've got our bacon going. Okay. And you don't wanna burn the bacon. Anytime you burn something, that bitter comes out, and it pretty much destroys, it destroys your dish, all right? But we definitely want all that bacon fat to come out, because we're gonna saute our mushrooms in there. So let's go back over our ingredients. We had two pounds of our fresh green beans. We have 12 ounces of sliced baby bella, all right? So we got our baby bella. Four strips of our bacon, okay? And then we'll talk about the other ingredients shortly. But right now, we're finishing up our bacon. And it smells good. We'll crank up our temp just a little bit, okay? So hopefully you've had green bean casserole before. If not, a lot of the times you can buy a can of cream mushroom. Jit style, we don't do that. Um, you can can of green beans. Well, they're already cooked. Do you really want to cook them again? That's my thing about canned, about canned green beans or any, I mean, I, they're not bad, but when you want a nice product, you go with the fresh, all right? As much fresh product as you can, all right? So we're getting our bacon cooked off, and that usually takes about five minutes, let's say, maybe a little more, okay? But we're getting close, but like I said, watch your temperature. You don't want to burn the bacon. We're gonna keep that in there, and then we're gonna um, let it cook all the way, and then we're gonna pull it out. So now we just took our bacon out, and of course we're gonna go right in with our mushrooms. Get all that bacon fat, all that flavor. And remember, our mushrooms are gonna reduce down at least about 50%. So we're gonna get our mushrooms going, okay? And let them cook down in all of that bacon, we're gonna hit it with just a little bit of pepper, okay? And a little bit of salt. But once those reduce down in size, we're gonna pull those out as well. And we got everything coming together for our beautiful green bean casserole, all right? So yeah, as you can see, the mushrooms are working. Now, as you can see, our mushrooms have reduced in size, so we're gonna go ahead and get those out just for a minute and they have pretty much absorbed all of the bacon fat and flavor. So we're gonna get those out and we're gonna move right into our sauce here, all right? So we'll turn our pan down just for a second. And let's get all of our mushrooms out of here, okay? What you don't wanna do is burn them, okay? So we're gonna pull those out and they'll be back in our sauce that's on its way, okay? And we're gonna add a couple of things here to start making which you all should be familiar with, and that's a roux, okay? So once we get all our mushrooms out, if there's a little bit left in there, that's okay, all right? So we're gonna turn our flame back on, and now we're gonna go with the star of the show, our liquid gold. All right, we're gonna do two tablespoons of our liquid gold, okay? And then we're gonna match it with two tablespoons of flour, all right? So we're gonna create our roux that way, all right? So we're gonna get it going where we wanna make sure that the flour cooks, all right? And one key secret with the flour cooking, you gotta make sure that you're looking for that aroma, okay? And the bottom flavor on the bottom, that's the fine, that's the flavor. So we're still capturing some of that bacon flavor as well, all right? So pretty much all we're doing right now is we're breaking up the flour so that'll help us eliminate our lumps and what have you, all right? Get all of that flour in there. And we're gonna go right in here and we're gonna add a half a cup of heavy, heavy whipping cream, which has more fat, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and add that, all right? And we're gonna get that working. And you'll see that roux starts to thicken that up really fast, okay? And then not only do we want that, but we also have two and a half cups of regular milk, all right? 
So we're gonna go ahead and get that in there, okay? Save just a little for later, okay? And we're gonna get that going where we're gonna make this beautiful cream sauce and then everybody's jumping back in the pool as we're getting so close to our green bean casserole. We're gonna let these flavors come together and then we're gonna start assembling our green bean casserole. And now you can see our sauces coming together, our nice, beautiful cream sauce. This is the point where you gotta be very careful with the flavor, all right? Now we're gonna put a nice amount of salt, maybe a tablespoon, go from there, but we are gonna taste it, okay? And of course you gotta do a little bit of pepper, all right? So we're gonna get that going, all right? And we're gonna get that whisked around. And before we add back in all the other ingredients, we gotta make sure that our salt content is good, our flavor is where it at. And of course, we're gonna add a little bit of minced garlic. Oh, that smells good. And we're gonna get that going around, okay? So we've got a beautiful flavor. The texture of the sauce is wonderful. We've got the flavor of the mushrooms and the bacon in here, okay? And we're gonna taste it for salt. Taste the garlic. Oh, it's close. Maybe a pinch or two more of salt and a little bit of pepper. And I think we need one more taste and we'll be ready to start assembling everything, all right? So we've got our cream sauce going here. Let's go ahead and taste with our other spoon here. Now that's it right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our mushrooms back in and our bacon and all of those drippings that were on the plate are going in here, okay? And we're gonna get that kind of mixed around. Oh, that's starting to look wonderful. So we've got our mushrooms. Now we've got our mushrooms and our bacon together. Oh, it smells delicious. There's a little bit of smell of vision for you. We're gonna let this rest for about, we're gonna let it kind of simmer low for about two minutes. And then we're gonna put everything together. So now we've done all this work and we are going to assemble everything. We've got our blanched green beans in our mixing bowl. And we're gonna go ahead and add our cream sauce with our mushrooms and our bacon. We're gonna get all of that in there. Oh, this smells good. I wish you all could smell this, okay? We're gonna get that ready to go. So we're gonna lightly toss the green beans around, as you can see, in that cream sauce. Oh, I hope that looks as good to you as it smells. Oh, it smells wonderful. All right, so we're gonna lightly coat those, and then we're gonna go ahead and put them in our casserole dish because it's gonna go in the oven for about 20 to 30 minutes or until it starts to bubble. But here's that beautiful green bean casserole. Oh, we gotta make sure we get it all in there. We don't wanna leave any sauce in the bowl. Okay. Now we've got that ready to go. A little more sauce coming out of there, okay everything in the bowl. Oh, that looks wonderful. And of course, it's gonna cook down with the fresh green beans. All right. And then last but not least, we're gonna to top it with our fried onions. What better way to top a classic green bean casserole with all of the fried onions? We're gonna put that in the oven for about 30 minutes and we'll be back. 30 minutes later and there you have it. Green bean casserole. And you know there's only one way we end the show. You know what time it is. It's chip baby, just in time. The wait is over. See you next time. <laughs>